Uh, hello everyone, this is another Abacus tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a static risk analysis or called a post buckling analysis. Uh, mostly, we have uh, dynamic analysis, uh, static analysis, and this static risk is one of the important uh, methods to uh, get the post buckling of the structure as well as to see how where the structure is unstable and where this when part which part of the structure will collapse. We can uh, check here. Uh, it is uh, this is it. This is actually the uh, the configuration, and here I should do the risk method. How the risk method is work. So uh, we have some uh, function that's called proportional loading. So uh, the total load is equal. This is the P0, which is the dead load uh, we will give, and this is the lambda, uh, which is equal to the load proportional factor. You can give 1 to 100. Uh, that means you use utilize 1%, 2%, or 100% of the giving dead load. Uh, but we're not applying any load in the in the our structure. Just we will use a simple pushover analysis using this static risk. Uh, so here is I already model one, and I'm going to show you how to uh, conduct this analysis. I'm going to use new, and let me uh, change my uh, view graphics. Uh, I like to use a white color. Apply. Now I want to uh, model a brass, a brass, a uh, steel brass frames. And then I want to apply a pushover to see which part of that structure will go collapse or that collapse showing an instability in that region. So I'm going to using this one called steel uh, breast. Uh, I should give one called frame. So I used planar and also used wire. I'm going to give approximate 8000 because I used millimeter. And now I want to use this. So, uh, rectangle giving zero zero and the second is going to be five meters length in the x direction and three meter height uh, giving five thousand and three meters height so i think yeah here is and the next is going to uh, uh, taking this line and here to here to here now uh, i want to do one more thing uh, i want to uh, delete this part and i'm going to dimension this area to this area this is 2500 it's inequal and one more thing uh, that i want to uh, increase one uh, more story so I can uh, click in that translate, select this good copy and select this one, this one and this one. So, okay, and I'm taking this point to this point. So now, oh, I should select these two as well. Uh, okay, now that. But uh, we forgot to get. Okay, I'm going to back to edit. Yeah here and then I can and go to copy again copy and select these two points selecting this point to this point now it's correct so we have a, a steel brassed frame and uh, so next go to the properties adding a material I have uh, a material here and I'm going through what kind of properties inside and this is the density and this is the elastic and this is the plastic behavior so i consider some degradation now next is creating some uh, profile so i used uh, i section uh, i uh, i can i beam so the i beam using i and giving the i section is uh, for the beam is three 100 meter, millimeter for the half of the eye section and the height is 400 
and b1 is 200 b2 is also 200 and t1 t2 t1 t2 is 20 20 and going to give this one to 50 millimeter so this was the beam and i'm going to one more called i uh, column so i column is the same using i section and the column is 300 which is going to be 150 and this is also 300 i 300 b this b top 300 so the thickness for the bottom and top flange is uh, to uh, 80 millimeters and the width is 50, 40 millimeters now the last one is we should define a section for the profile so i'm going using a box which is equal to the uh, hss or auto section this is the weight a i'm going to give uh, 200 and this is the i degree 150 a uniform thickness is about 12 millimeter now we should define called column using beam and here select i column the same material and next going to be uh, beam using i beam okay and the last one is going to be rust Here called box. Now I can select all these four brasses and I'm going to give brasses. So we four columns. Going to give the columns. And the last one is the beams. Going to beam. Now next I should define some orientation that for the column uh, okay and now I'm going to show you that uh, add some brasses okay and also the last one for beam and okay so now we can see the behavior just uh, the brass is not right so i'm going to select again these brasses and i'm going to this time using a positive let's see what we'll get it doesn't change okay now i'm going to change it to one yes it is now correct now let's see the uh, I X X is in the right which is quite okay so we next go to the assembly and we want to import our model here and we go to the step and here's the important time so important parts it's called static risk so you can come here and see static risk uh, so here you can turn on the nonlinear geometry very important and here you can get the maximum load proportional factor so it's depending to the giving load sometimes you can uh, consider the lateral load or dead load and then the, give the factor that lambda so the program will determine the proper factor for you uh, which the structure collapse or the structure shown an instability so i consider that should be 100 for me and I'm going to but before this we need to define a node region a node region so I'm going to uh, tool here create called top node so the top node is this node for me which I want to apply a displacement instead of the load in this point now I can go back again and call static risk static risk and selecting this one on and maximum load considering that factor lambda 100 and the maximum displacement i can give uh, this is three and uh, this is three i can give 10 percent of the uh 10 percent 
or 5%. If I give 5%, so that's basically 300 millimeter drift, or uh, if I give 10%, then it's be uh, about uh, 600 millimeter. So the degree of freedom is considering this one U1, so giving one, and the same node, uh, top node. Now here in an increment, we can give a large number that program in case in a 100 can complete, you can, uh, you should have enough increment. And here is called the uh, arc increment. So using this arc increment, you can see what arc increment is in here, and you can uh, understand. So, but it is the same for me, like time period increment, 0 0.1. So it's more starting from initial very small and other parameter, you can give a large one like 10 or minus 15. And the maximum is also, you can give one or uh, larger. So, but it's okay. I'm giving default and just zero one. So estimated total arc is one. Uh, it's better to use automatic the program will determine the proper increment and initial number for you okay now we finished and i'm going to here create uh, a, a, disp a displacement force curve and i'm going to use uh, displacement i should use set that top node and considering every increment should be one using u1 and reaction force too so that that reaction which we applying uh, displacement in the top of this uh, structure so that's equal to the bottom in the x direction so i'm gonna okay and dismiss and we go to the interaction is no need to go to the load so i don't have any gravity load i'm not considering gravity load just i want to consider some displacement so first going to define the uh, boundary condition and this is the boundary condition and so this is the end or uh, end and next i want to consider a lateral uh, support uh, considering the floor or diaphragm so the three point should be The three points should be uh, restrained in the lateral. So we need this one because we should consider that structure is not unstable before we putting an analysis. So I'm gonna okay. Now you can see in that direction is seems we define or provide lateral support. This is very important and that showing there is the second floor, one floor, second floor. Now here the last one is going to apply a displacement from the risk, static risk. So I'm going to select that point, that node which already defined. So we already giving the displacement, so that displacement times to this displacement giving one and in the direction one. So we have completed. So next we go to the mesh and we can create in the part. You can create a mesh you can it's depend to you what kind of mesh you want you'll find or coarse mesh and depending to your analysis mostly in the concrete structure or reinforcement concrete it's very important now the mesh is completed we go to the job and we can call it static risk analysis Assign submit and we should wait for a while to finish. The, uh, the analysis time is quite faster than uh, static and another uh, analysis as well. Yeah, it is quite fast completed, uh, totally took uh, 30 um, step increment and I'm going to show you the result and this is the result so this is the result and we can see or observe the structure collapse especially the first floor uh, first floor uh, 
brasses, claps, or packled. So I'm gonna view, let me go to uh, here and I create a rendering beam here. Now you can see this is the uh, instability and the cause of the structure failure in this area. So in case uh, we have uh, another uh, BORB so that the structure will be will not do this in a state so this column or this beam will collapse uh, now we can go to the uh, uh, create the output and this is the load proportional factor in case if I plot this is the proportional factor how load proportional 200 is applied in every in increment but we want to uh, draw the this two curve so this is the uh, uh, force displacement curve I'm gonna go to here and combine you and if we save it and it called force displacement now I can go to here and plot the force displacement curve so now this is the force displacement curve which we got from the analysis so it's quite practical and it's quite reasonable for me because this structure will uh, go to maximum or elastic region so that there is uh, inelastic behavior and then uh, there is some de decoration so slowly uh, as much as we push the structure so they will show some inelastic behavior and finally collapse so that the, the graph is a totally if doing experiments so you will get this result uh, so this is the end of the uh, tutorial and I'm going to uh, show you one more thing uh, I want to introduce you uh, uh, a channel a telegram channel uh, which is uh, looks like a very large uh, uh, library especially for uh, base isolation structure uh, mostly for the dynamic of structure and as well as for the uh, structural design civil engineering subjects as well and here is about uh, more than uh, 15,000 uh, file so all this is the material for those uh, uh, engineer for the researcher they in interested to conduct research and you can join this uh, channel and i will put the link of this channel and you can get benefit and share the data with your friends and also you can use it so uh, this is the all and if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time